All right, um, we are in Vlogmas. Nobody knows what day it is because there's so much chaotic energy in this particular <laughs> Vlogmas that anything goes. We have no idea, but we are checking in now because it's after work and we are going to the place where an iconic scene of an iconic movie was filmed. Who has the stop sign here? I think they, they do. do. They had a stop sign. We're at the Walmart of Frisco where National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation was filmed. And I found out today that one of my coworkers' dads is in that scene. Who? Ian. His dad was in that scene in a car behind the bus that stops when, um, what's his name? Sparky is in the, no, should watch that, that yeah, it's, a, it's him who's in the, the, um, sled. So he's, Sparky rides the sled down the hill into the Frisco Walmart parking lot. And when he's crossing the street, apparently there's a bus stopped and then Ian's dad is in the car behind that. So I found that out today. So that's a little local triv, but here's, that's, here's the Walmart. Here's the Walmart that is in National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Can we um, watch that tonight? Honestly, I would love to. Also, we might have to watch our Holiday Homework movie. I'm gonna sleep during that. If we ever get home. I'm gonna watch your scene and then fall asleep. But anyway, so um, we're here to get a mattress. So that's the, that's the news. Okay, we're back. Um, obviously, I didn't film inside the Walmart because I think Sasha would have started a campaign to desubscribe all of you all seven of them yeah all seven of you and uh are you gonna hit this guy oh it's close um he doesn't get out of my way this is what happened in the walmart i kiki chanel in the walmart okay i kikied hardcore and i bought wrapping paper i've never done this in my life i mean literally i couldn't tell you when I have ever bought wrapping paper from a store that wasn't my parents buying it and me just going to the store with their money for them or me going to a thrift store and buying wrapping paper that was in a thrift store and only relying on that as a means of wrapping. Like, this is that's the first time I've ever done that. So, um, there's nothing else to say. Um, wait a minute. Can you see the lights of, nope, not really, not on the camera. Wow, look at this snowy ass mountain town. Hopefully it freaking snows. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't freaking snow, I'm getting my money back from the state of Colorado for my snow tires and I'm suing for the, all the rent that I've paid. And uh, yeah, I will take it to the Supreme Court. But anyway, so hopefully it snows and there's lights and it's, it's magical and wintry and all the things. I used to make fun of Furry Little Christmas for coming in October. No, when did they come? Was it October? No, they it was came. earlier than that. It was earlier than that. So maybe August or September. September maybe? I used to make fun of them for coming then because I was like, oh, in two months it would be snowing. Ha 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 ha. They should have come this time because... Should have come in, I guess, January? The lights are up. Such bullshit. But anyway, that's all that's going on in our neck of the woods. Comment below your favorite part of our Walmart visit. You think they go to Walmart <laughs> with us? This is my video. Ah. <laughs> Got her. <laughs> Mia, are you having fun in there? You can just like just barely see your nose. We are live from the Christmas tree. So I know you all have been on pins and needles wondering what is going on with Secret Santa at work. And well, let me tell you, there was some drums and I'm about to spill the tea and burn everything in sight. And so what happened was that you might recognize this very bag with this very tissue paper from the gift that I wrapped two days ago. Wait, was it two days ago? Today's Thursday. This was Monday night, so three days ago. And we have an open floor office. So I brought all my gifts in 
because I was going to be in the office every day this week, I was hoping that the coordinator was going to spot my gifts and then give them out one by one. Well, I was going to tell the coordinator that my gifts were there and they could give them one by one to my person. Well, my person found the gifts before that happened. She just like had all four of them at her desk and I was like, had to act surprised. Like, oh, weird. You already have all of them. And then she took her stuff out of the bag. It was hilarious. She loved the gift. And then the person who was sitting next to her was like, oh, I didn't know we were supposed to wrap them. I don't even have a bag for mine. And then the person who I have gave this other person her bag and was like, you can use this one for my gift. And then she was like, I hope you don't get my secret Santa. Ha ha ha. Well, I go to the bathroom, come back. Sure enough, my bag is on my desk, which is honestly great because that means I, it's like it was free. Like it was, you know, I get to use it again. But anyway, so let's open together what I got as the first day of Secret Santa. I've already seen it actually. So it is a mug and I'm quite happy with this mug. I think it is so cute and I'm excited for us to have endless content featuring this mug. But here's the goofy part, I guess is these hot chocolate packets because I don't consume processed things. So at first I thought it was oatmeal, but it's just hot chocolate packets. So I'm going to give that to Megan. But um, anyway, so I know who my secret Santa is. <laughs> There's no mystery at all. I know who has me. Um, and then I didn't get a gift on, so that was Tuesday. Wednesday we had our retreat. And I wasn't in the office on Wednesday, did not get a gift. And then today went the whole day without a gift and then disappeared for a couple hours to Megan's cabin to work remotely and then came back with this on my desk, a Dunkin' Donuts bag. And I was like, I hope there's not a donut in there from Dunkin' Donuts, but this is what it is. It is cheeky cheeky churro chocolate, which I've never seen before. And um, it has milk in it, so I don't know if I'll eat it just because it also has flour. I don't know why it would have flour in it. Does it have... Yeah, so I don't know if I'll have... I don't know if I'll eat this because it has wheat and milk in it. And I did specifically put on my likes and dislikes no dairy and gluten. But what are you going to do? I didn't look at this yet. Um... Chocolate Bites Peanut Butter Dark Chocolate. Do these not have ingredient list? Not labeled for individual sale. So I guess there's no ingredient list. Um, but I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure if I will eat these just because I don't know if I can, if the ingredients will make my tummy turn. And then this as well. So. Um, a little chocolate inside of a Dunkin' Donuts bag. Um, I used to be a huge chocolate person, but I'm not really a huge chocolate person anymore. So, uh, I'm not sure. And, um, the next chapter of the story is that it's White Elephant tomorrow. And I was gonna go around the house with the camera and like try and find some white element stuff but I realize I don't really have anything I 100% want to part with just because I've already like purged my house of crap that I don't like or want so in lieu of getting like an empty spindrift can or like a roll of toilet paper I realize I have this I got this because I bought my friend a gift card and then this came with it I don't really know what it is it says clean skin gel and then gel source source the transparent clear brow gel. So there's this. And then I also have these, which I got a long time ago from the makeup brand that I do use. They I think they're foundation samples, which I never used. So I think I'm just, I'm fine to part with these. And maybe someone else will really you know, maybe it'll mean something to them. Who knows? But also, in looking in the closet, I noticed all of these. 
which are plastic small little ornaments but they're all plastic and so Sasha won't use them and I won't use them so I'm gonna just double check I'll get her permission in the morning but I think I'm just gonna try to give these away quite frankly oh I don't know if you saw these earlier in great detail but here are the wrapping papers so hopefully I have enough people to get presents for that I can use these so there you are there there you have it and Right before I finished wrapping, I decided to throw this in there. I have a ton of like plastic wear that I don't intend to use. And soy sauce packets. So. Thank <laughs> you.